Alyssa, a 19-year-old female Filipino patient, comes into the college health clinic one day to discuss her smoking addiction. Here you'll see the patient addresses her concerns and the nurse will try to come up with a health promotion plan to help the patient change her behaviors to stop smoking. <coughs> My name's Nurse Roxanne. Why are you here today? I want to quit smoking for good. The nurse should now try to find out what is behind the patient's decision to stop smoking. That's good. Why do you want to quit? I just started swimming for the school team, but I run out of breath quickly, especially since I'm asthmatic. I'm constantly coughing and I frequently get asthma attacks. I haven't been getting enough sleep since I've started smoking. My skin has been looking dull. I'm having trouble smelling and tasting food. Also, I can't afford to pay for cigarettes anymore. It's just not good for me, my health, or anyone else. The nurse sees that she is motivated to change her behavior. She wants to do well in swimming and change her behavior to help control her asthma, and so that the changes in her body will reverse. Her recent participation on the swim team has made quitting smoking a high priority. So why the sudden change? Why quit now and not before? When I entered college, all of my friends were cigarette smokers, and then I started smoking too. I didn't realize that it was such a strong and hazardous habit. I thought that I wasn't addicted to cigarettes and that I could quit whenever I wanted because I had strong willpower. A few months ago, I tried to quit cold turkey, but I relapsed five days later when I went out with my friends. Now I find that the more I try to quit, the harder it becomes. And now that I started swimming, I want to be able to perform at my full potential. Now the nurse is going to explain what Alyssa's different options are for stopping her smoking addiction. There are many options to help you stop your addiction. Since going cold turkey didn't help you before, you should try some other methods. The first one is nicotine replacement therapy. You can use nicotine patches or gum. It'll help you reduce physical withdrawal symptoms so you can practice non-smoking behaviors while reducing nicotine intake. But there are some possible side effects you should consider. The second method is non-nicotine prescription medications. It'll help reduce the effects of nicotine in the brain, the withdrawal symptoms, and the urge to smoke. It makes it less likely to relapse. The third is counseling. It'll help you connect to other smokers trying to quit, and they'll help motivate you. That sounds good. I think I prefer counseling. Alright, so let's get you started in a counseling group.